Hey Loki people, have you had any problems with your long distance relationship partner lately because of this quarantine? Tune in to this video because I'm going to tell you three tips on how to keep that LDR or long distance relationship working. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, don't you ever forget to like and subscribe. Ngayon, sa panahon na to that we are all in quarantine, tayong lahat ay meron talagang what we call as anxiety. Now, how is it related to this video? It's because anxiety is one of the key factors kung bakit nagkakalabuan or siguro maraming pag-aaway ang mga nasa long-distance relationship ngayon. So personally, just a few days ago, I've had some troubles with my partner as well. It's hard. It's hard when you are far away from each other and there is no certainty kung kailan kayo next na magkikita. But hopefully, hopefully, sa next na vacation, that is December, magkikita na kami ulit. Kahit nga yung relationship na magkalapit lang or always kayo, regular kayo na nakikita, di ba you have certain issues pa rin. So how much more those who are in long distance relationships? So let's start with the three tips on how to keep that relationship burning. Number one, communication is the key. When you talk about communication, it's not just the physical act of talking or conversing with one another. Take note, partner, you are in a relationship. Okay? So when we say communication, it has to be that both of you are connected well with one another, not just mentally, <clears throat> not just intellectually, not just emotionally, uh, not just emotionally, but also even spiritually. When you feel the uncertainty in your relationship, the two of you must talk it out, okay? So you have to talk and lay all the issues that are present in the relationship. Yun ang pinaka-importante dyan. You have to be very honest with each other and you have to unburden or unload your emotions. Conversation or communication sa inyong dalawa ng partner mo, it's, it's not a guarantee that it will automatically solve the problem between the two of you. However, kahit hindi tayo sigurado kung kailan to matatapos, but you have to let your partner know that you are always there for them and support them in all the issues that they are facing and in all, in all the challenges that they are facing right now. So support through communication is very essential. However, meron din tayong tinatawag na excessive communication. Excessive communication is yung mga tinatawag nating sobrang klingi pag yung dalawang partners are seeing each other regularly. So, hindi ibig sabihin na you have to communicate regularly when you are in a long distance relationship is you have to update your partner with all the activities that you are doing. No. Why? Kasi nga, yun ang, tawa, ang tawag dun ay excessive communication. Your partner is not a robot that will monitor your every activity. He is human as well. So of course, alam niya na yung mga essential things na gagawin mo dapat in a day ay gagawin mo. Yun siya. So hindi ibig sabihin na kailangan mo siyang i-update na kumain ka na, maliko ka na, or ganun-ganun. Unless, okay, mayroon ka yung prior conversation na biglang nakat, biglang nawala ka. So yeah, of course, to explain to them, bakit nawala ka? And make them understand na ito kasi ang ginawa ko. Naglinis ako, na nakatulog, and so on. And then, lastly, for communication, to keep your communication interesting, it's a good thing that we have technology nowadays and we can already chat and even video call. Yun ang pinaka magandang dulot ng technology sa atin ngayon. Now, it doesn't mean that you'll just have to chat them, okay? Or to call them. You can have creative ways 
on how to communicate with your uh, partner in a long distance relationship. So I will uh, put the link uh, or uh, in the description box. Uh, th that video will be all about creative ways of communicating with your partner. So for example, I and my partner, uh, we both play Mobile Legends. So naglalaro kami ng, mob ng Mobile Legends. Minsan, when hindi ako tinatamad, I, uh, he, he would invite me and I would also invite him, okay, at, at, at certain times, na maglaro kami, sometimes rank, pareho kami ano, magka-team, or sometimes, oh my gosh, sometimes rank, uh, magka-team kami, or sometimes magic chest lang, kasi minsan, mabilis lang din kasi ang magic test, magic chest, magic test. Let's move on. Number two, grow apart to grow together. So it's from an anonymous quote that says, if you want to learn how to grow together, you have to learn how to grow apart. What do we mean by this? Ang relationship kasi, hindi siya automatically na kayong dalawa merged into one. So gradual yan. You'll have to be able to know ikaw sa sarili mo mismo kung anong mga gusto mo. So as an individual, you have to have your own identity in the relationship. So for example, mahilig kang magluto. So matuto kang magluto. Yun, dahil inter interested ka dun. What you're going to do is you search for a lot of recipes. And since you're at home, then learn those recipes. Ganun. But at least, pag nagkita na kayo ulit, there's now this excitement na, Uy, uh, I can cook for you. On the other side naman, let's say, uh, itong tao na to may pinagkakaabalahan or meron siyang iniisip na negosyo and he's planning on something, then ikaw naman, just support him. Ganon. Do different things and then share what you have been doing lately. So ako, I'm doing this. I'm starting my channel and I am trying to grow it to become a successful content creator. I'm also joining workshops about YouTube and how to become a successful YouTuber. Yun, sinasabi ko sa kanya yun. And he supports me of what I'm doing and what I'm interested at currently. Ako naman, on my end, I do the same. I support him whatever he is interested at. Okay? Even though if you are away, you can do things together. Ito nga yung sinasabi ko kanina na you can't communicate creatively. So maybe when you video call, you know, nagkakaraoke sila doon, magkaraoke ka rin dyan sa sarili mo or magkantahan kayo. Ganun. Or kapag nagluluto siya doon, magluto ka rin. Hindi na mahirap ngayon kasi nga we already have the video call. We can already connect with people from different parts of the world. So Kahit man magkalayo kayo, and if you are interested with one thing, you can still share your interest. Pwede pa rin, pwede nyo pa rin, pwede nyo pa rin gawin ang mga dati nyong ginagawa when you are together. And our last tip for today, our third tip for today, is faith, trust, and pixie dust. This is actually a three-in-one combo for our third tip. Bakit faith, trust, and pixie dust? Number one, faith. So, you have to keep the faith, keep on praying that one day, magkakasama kayo ulit, and very soon, magkikita at magkakayakapan kayo ulit. So this applies not only for your partner, but also for your family. Keep the faith, everyone. Strengthen your faith by uh, praying always. And then, if you can do the rosary, if you're Catholic, pray always and do the rosary every day and pray for the healing of the entire world so keep the faith next is trust trust each other be honest with each other tell them what's currently happening around you let's say if you're working from home what's happening uh at work what's happening with your family don't you ever forget guys to constantly ask your partner how he or she is doing in times like these everyone needs a shoulder to lean on everyone needs a hand to hold so yun constantly ask them 
if they're still okay and if they are emotionally disturbed kasi kapag na disturb ka emotionally or if you are unstable ngayong mga panahon na to it's really hard it's really going to be hard okay it may result you uh crying tons of tears or you know masasad ka na lang every day and then lastly is pixie dust why pixie dust because pixie dust is like magic wow. uh, keep the magic between you and your partner if you can do silly things still funny things you know send cute pictures wacky pictures patawanin yung isa't isa then and that is pixie dust you know yung magic na na feel nyo sa isa't isa yung love na na feel nyo sa isa't isa yun always remember that that pixie dust is the most essential one in the relationship. Kasi, kahit na may nagawa ka or may nagawa siya, nakatulugan mo siya, but you know deep inside that you love the person. And loving is forgiving the unforgivable. Then everything will be okay. Everything will be worth it. Naging emotional na ako. Anyway, let's have a recap with the three tips that we can do to keep our long-distance relationship healthy and burning. Number one is communication is the key. Number two is grow apart to grow together. And number three is faith, trust, and pixie dust. Meron number four, but I think alam yun na ano yun. It's showtime! This is your show, this is your time. Magpasikat na, it's showtime. It's showtime. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're interested in my other vlogs, especially foreign things, the things that I've learned during this quarantine, don't forget to click the link in the description box or you can go to my channel and look for it. I know you also have a lot of realizations and things that you've learned during that, so comment in that video. And for this video, and of course, if you have some tips that you'd like to share, don't forget to comment down. I'm telling you, comment it down. So thank you so much. This is Loki, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.